Welcome to the channel, my name is Yunus, and in today's video I'm going to talk about the right export settings for videos on Instagram. Well, if you ever wondered why all these videos look so good on Instagram posted by professional videographers, photographers, and you wanted to achieve the same quality and look to your videos, it's time to learn the right video export settings to Instagram. So let's jump right into Premiere Pro. So first of all, as you can see, I made a new project file uh, with the name Instagram export settings. And what we're gonna do now is go to File, New, and open a new sequence. Here you need to select whichever frame rate you want your video to be exported at. So mine will be exported at uh, 23.976. So let's name this sequence Instagram export settings, like the project file. And now come here to settings. You're gonna change the frame size the expect ratio to 1080 by 1350. And why 1080 by 1350? That's growing evidence that vertical video performs better and the engagement is better as well. And even brands advertising with port remote. So nowadays it's pretty much became a standard on social platforms. That's why you want to post your Instagram videos in portrait size. So, okay. And now I will put a clip what I already imported to my project file. Just push keep existing settings. Okay, so now you can see my clip here. I suggest you to record already in vertical mode with your camera because you don't need to crop too much in post-production. I still need to adjust this clip to fill the frame. And I want to center myself as well a bit more if i'm playing back this clip you can see that i'm pretty much in the center of this clip that's it so now let's do the export settings first of all you want to set the in and out point of the video that you want to export so therefore i press e to start on my keyboard and the out point i want to be here so let's press o that's it go up here file export media and now we are in the export settings first of all what works the best for me is to click on high quality HD I suggest you to do the same because I had really good results with this and the quality is pretty good so make sure you check export video and export audio as well if you're exporting video with audio and scroll down here where there's video so you want to make sure that your basic video settings matches your sequence settings so click match source and scroll down check this box render at maximum depth it will help your video to have more depth and colors and to have a better tone so make sure you check that one as well and scroll down until you got here to bitrate settings and what i suggest what works the best for me is the VBR2 pass. You want to do this because during the rendering process it will gonna go through twice to your video so you will have better quality. And the bit target bitrate for me is 20 and the maximum bitrate is 24. Instagram will compress your video anyways but for me the sweet spot are these bitrate numbers. Check use maximum render quality of course we want to have a maximum render quality and pretty much that's it. Let's export it. Thank you for watching the video, I hope it was useful. If you have any kind of questions, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more videos and tutorials like this, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Bye.